So we've mastered chains and we have a good basis to start working from. Let's go ahead and make single crochets. So we're going to start with a row of single crochets. So I'm putting my hook back in. I'm going to tighten that up a little bit since I had made it pretty large. And I'm going to turn my work around. So we crocheted going this way, but now we've run out of things to do. We're at the end of our row. So we're just going to flip the whole thing over and start working back in this direction again. And I like to secure the work in my right hand, or excuse me, in my left hand, along with the working yarn and just hold everything right there so that my right hand is free to move um, and manipulate the hook in all the ways that I need to do it um, to make things a little bit easier. So this can be a little tricky to start, but what you're gonna do is start by crocheting into the second stitch from your hook. So the last one, the last chain I just did was chain number 15. I'm gonna go back and, and work into the number 14 from the last row, if that makes sense. So you start by doing the second chain from your hook so that you create a little bit of extra room for your stitches to stand up if you're moving sideways. So let me show you how I'm gonna do this. We've got our V here that I'm pointing to with my middle finger and my thumb. And I'm gonna put my hook into one side and then into the second side of that V. So I inserted it through and there's still a little bit of yarn. Let me see if I can show you on the back of the hook. So I'm working through the chain, the middle of the chain I just made. So let me show you that again. So I put my hook through one side and then the second side of that chain. And then I'm gonna yarn over with the working yarn and pull a loop through that chain. So now I've got two loops on my hook and they're just both sitting there and my hook can slide pretty easily in and out of them. And then I'll yarn over one more time and use the hook to pull through both loops that were sitting there. So that's one single crochet done. So let me show you that again. I'm gonna start by inserting my hook into both sides of the V in the chain I just made. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. And each time I'm moving on to the next V in the chain that I made, so the next chain stitch. I'm just working my way all the way down the project. So let's go all the way to the end. Do all 15. It can be a little finicky as you're getting started. You can see that end of this, of the stitches that I've already worked, is kind of flying around while I crochet. And that's okay. Um, if it's easier for you to hold on to the project you're making with your hand a little bit or with your left hand, your fingers over here to stabilize things, um, that is totally fine. Whatever makes it easiest for you. Um, you do wanna be sure that when you're chaining or when you're making any stitch while you're crocheting, you're not pulling the yarn too tight because that'll make those V's really difficult to get into. Oh, and you don't wanna miss them either. Let's see. There we go. So I pulled up two loops, yarning over, pulling through two. And I am going into both sides of my chain stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so I'm coming to the end here. You can see that I have got, let's come here. You can see that I've got just two V's left and you wanna be sure that you're working into the very last V, which was your original slip knot. Um, it can be really easy to miss that one and think you're done. But if I do this last, these last two stitches, it makes a very nice, very square border. You don't want a little tail hanging off you wanna make sure that you've worked into every single stitch. 
Oh, didn't finish my last one. There we go. Okay, so now I've got a nice row and it's a little wiggly and that's okay. That's because there's not much there yet, but I've got a nice row of single crochets. So one row done. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing because we have a lot more yarn reviews, tutorials, and other fiber fun like that. Happy crafting!